Hey everyone, this is Sam with Team Forthlight. It's time to wrap up our video series on Forthlight Manage with Part 3, which will go over features that are especially useful to enterprise and military account holders. We'll start back on the Documents page, where in the last video I had created an in-app document catalog called TOW and linked it to my Dropbox account. The sharing options at the bottom of the page can be set by the administrator of a multi-pilot account to control what pilots can do with documents in-app. You can allow or prevent them from emailing documents from inside the app, printing documents from inside the app, or disable automatic syncing of documents between the storage account, such as Dropbox, and their iPads. All three options are enabled by default, and you need to press Update for any changes to take effect. Next up is the Pilots page, which only appears for multi-pilot accounts. If you've just recently set up a multi-pilot account, you'll see this screen, where you can select either per-pilot sign-on, which allows each pilot to use their own email address and password, or single sign-on, which allows all pilots to use a single username and password. Per-pilot sign-on is recommended for accounts with more than a few pilots, as it makes it easier to manage individual pilots. In either case, the choice is final, and cannot be undone or changed within ForeFlight Manage. Going with per-pilot sign-on takes us to a screen where you can add and manage pilots on the account. You can add a pilot to the account by typing in their email address and clicking Add Pilot, and you can see which pilots you've invited by clicking Send Invitations. You can uninvite pilots by clicking Remove, which prevents them from accepting the invitation. You can also add multiple pilots at once with a comma-separated values file containing names and email addresses, and you can choose whether or not to send a sign-up email to each address. Below is a table showing all the pilots on the account. For each pilot, you can view the devices they're signed into, sign into their account on ForeFlight Manage to make changes, or remove them from the account. If finding a pilot by scrolling through the table is impractical due to its size, you can search for a pilot's name or email address in the search bar. You can also export the entire table as a CSV file. Lastly, we have the Compliance feature on the Devices page which allows a multi-pilot account administrator to monitor the devices on the account and see which ones have expired data or app versions. There are some problems with compliance on my account because my iPhone has expired charts or data. Clicking Expired allows me to see which downloads are expired, as well as all the downloads on the device. I can do the same with my iPad, which is in compliance, and also view all the documents on the device, and which, if any, are expired or missing. You can remove devices from the account with the Remove button, and you can remove compliance altogether by clicking the link in the bottom right corner and confirming. That's it for our Tip of the Week series on ForeFlight Manage. If you have any questions, feel free to send them to team at forflight.com.